All right, so today I'm going to be trying to uh, improve the initial start tuning on the Phytech EFI. You may notice from my comments that uh, you know, once it starts and it's running, it, it's it's running amazing, so much better than when it was on a carburetor. You notice that you know one of the big selling points for these is that they're self-learning as they run. They just they they figure out how to to make themselves work. But there are some things that you do have to dial in. One thing I'm having trouble with is the initial start. Like when I come out and it's been sitting for a few days and that, that very first time I start it, it, it tries to crank and it tries to start and it's like it just kind of falls on itself and usually it takes about three times and then it'll start up and go. So I'm gonna see if I can get that dialed in and get the initial start settings dialed in like they should be. I may have to do this in multiple takes because I mean, obviously, I only get one shot at this initial start before uh, you've cranked it multiple times and it's running. So I have to let everything stop and and cool and and go back into kind of a idle sitting state for a while. So, so today we're going to be totally working from the interface here with uh, just modifying some of these settings. See if we can make it a start a little easier. Turn the key on here. All right, so I'm going to go to the crank and warm up. And so, what of my research? Whether people have set these systems up, this prime fuel, this is the shot of fuel that gets me to turn the key on, is set very high, and most people find they need to turn this down. Now, is it going to do me any good now because I just turned the key on and it just did it at the setting that it's at. So, probably what I'll do is I'm going to turn this back some and then I'll just I'll have to come back a little bit later and turn the key on with it with its new setting and we'll see. So, I'm just going to take this back to, we'll say, 190. So you see, you've, you've got this this prime fuel multi. So this is the the priming that it does when you turn the key on, and then you've got all these settings here that you can alter from that primary setting if you want to do it based on temperature. So sometimes if you warm start good, but a cold start is uh, not working right, and uh, it, you know you've got this set where it's warm starting really good then you may look at um, modifying some of these crank fuel settings so you can what you can do is back it off or add it if it needs more of or what that primary value is I'm going to leave these just kind of where they are and what I'm going to do first is just work on this um, the, that primary fuel shot I'm going to turn the key on to see if I can get this dialed in for cold start Let's give them a crank with these settings where they're at and see what we got. So that was a pretty good start that time. Um, that was way better than it has been because it's been taking about three cranks to get it started. So that did it in one crank with it set just that much lower. So um, I'll give it a few more tries like that. I'll wait till tomorrow, come out and do it again, make sure I kind of consistently get that result. And uh, I'll just kind of maybe just small fine tuning from there. It wasn't an absolute perfect start but it was much much better than it has been so all right so we've had a little bit of time pass and I'm gonna go ahead and do a cold start again as cold as it can be in Texas in September anyway
12 start 79 v8 used to be a carburetor i don't it's a huge improvement in my opinion over what the uh, carburetor used to be i it would be multiple cranks cloud of smoke so huge improvement you know to recap just kind of what it did today I, I really thought this would take multiple tunings and, and it still could be a little bit better I, I may mess with it just a little bit more but at least it's starting on one try now it's not starting and, and acting like it's gonna start and then it just kill itself it used to do that th about three times and then it would run and it was a lot rougher than this so this is one bump of the key it starts has a little bit of a stumble but then it picks up and goes and uh, so that's like i said that's a huge improvement with just changing so all we did was we just changed oh i don't have the key on but i'll just do this so all we did was we changed this prime fuel which is the initial squirt of fuel it gets when you turn the key on so and what we did was we backed that down to 190 was what was kind of where we set it so i may try with maybe going down like maybe another five or something see if it makes a difference but like i said as you can see that was that was one start i mentioned before you know if you need to adjust how much prime fuel you get when you turn the key on at different temperatures and you have that ability to here so you got crank fuel and then after start warm-up fuel all this stuff can be modified off this you know just what you set the primary prime squared at so so right now when it's it's all just been kind of idle tuning to this point i i still have to do a little bit of suspension work with the tie rod ends and this the drag link is is kind of sketchy at this point it works for moving it around in the garage but it's not safe to take it on the road so um, so all this has had is just basically idle learning so um, that's that's next on the list is to get those suspension steering pieces in uh, roadworthy condition and then we'll get it on the road and, and really let it tune itself more so all right thanks for watching